It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Ah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. 
We'll never get there at this pace. Get back on the road. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Bear left here, towards Rhodes. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. You're going too fast. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs it. Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Join us on there. All right, hey, get on that train. Get faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. What's the problem here? Money, value. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I want to. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys hate me. No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Huh? Rich, you sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You show huh? this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! 
Everything you got. Money, valuables. Green leave until till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. I am. Honey, no! Bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks! What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. I'm gone. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There they are! Open fire! Fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. 
They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Go on! Are you? Hey. Ah, ah. Ah. Hello, chum. Chum? Yeah, do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers. They often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
Excuse me, partner. You better have a damn good reason for being here. I think you'd better get Calm cold. down. That's it. Get the hell out of here. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? 
Juana. A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs>